in separate ways Might add a little red and a fan for the flavor America taught me how to behave Shit you want it, it's yours to take Put it all on the line, know what's at stake Fuck all that talking, ain't no debate Ran into my old team while I'm on a date Say what you want, know I got good taste Good cheesecake, then back to the base After I bust on the shit, get replaced My mama calling me, she know my ways I ain't pick up, I got nothing to say Mine on a million different little things Like what to quit doing and true to persuade what is up gang welcome back to the youtube today is gonna be another utah travel vlog i'm going out there to film with baj and shoot for young la and for bucked up got my stuff packed right here and right there so i'm excited it's gonna be a fun vlog overall just super blessed to have this opportunity Oh, to be able to always film these fun trips for you guys. So, I'm excited. It's gonna be Baj's birthday tomorrow. Whoop whoop. And I'm excited that I get to spend it with him and that him and I get to travel together. We are so, so, so blessed to have this opportunity. And it's because of you. It's because of you guys. But, uh, I got my toiletries packed. I got my camera stuff packed. I got my clothing packed. And yeah, I believe they sent the clothing that I'm shooting for to drew so yeah nothing else to it it is eight o'clock i'm gonna go to bed in the next hour or so to get as much sleep as possible before i have to wake up for my flight because my flight takes off at 6 30. so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning good morning it is five o'clock oh. and uh Let's get to the airport. Oh, just the airport. G Spall. The Tesla back there, gracious enough to give me a ride. But we are uh, 30 minutes early for the flight. So let's pray that I actually make it to my gate on time and that TSA isn't too bad. Oh my God. Made it through TSA. <laughs> and uh, head to the gate. Woo! Headed to Utah, Baj's birthday. I would text that fool, happy birthday, good morning, but he's definitely not even awake yet. Dude, I'm exhausted. I didn't get enough sleep. I'm gonna try and sleep on the flight, but I have plane anxiety, so doubt that will happen. <laughs> See you in Utah. <laughs> we just landed. Finally off the plane. It took like 20 minutes for a stair thingy, whatever it's called, to get to the plane. So, Drew's picked me up. And uh, I gotta pee really bad. So, that's what I'm headed to do first. I simultaneously forgot and didn't forget that it was gonna be snowing the whole time I was here. So, I brought my puffer, the super big one. But, uh, I failed to bring gloves, so yikes. Gloves is like one of the only things that I I like always forget to bring because my hands never really get that cold, but when they do get cold, it gets so cold. Like my fingers, I feel like they're gonna freeze off. All right. What's up, bitches? We just pulled up. Now we're waiting for Baj, birthday boy. So uh, we're gonna get some coffee and some food and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. That's crazy, man. They literally like, why don't you just hit me at the Drew Cronin? Why do you have to add that I'm stalking you? That's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's my baby right here. Hi. <laughs> little shame. First full shame. <laughs> triple double we got, in jazz. We got the history. whole gang. First triple double in jazz history, Jordan Clarkson. He played right there. Right where? Right there. Right there. Jordan Clarkson. Ethan. Uh, we played in Ethan, here, sit what up? Pause. <laughs> I brought Jordan Clarkson back to the crib and I let him know how to bust it down sexual style. That's a good triple double. I'm about to show you a double yeah, double. We played with some balls on and off the court, you know. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> he was like, what is up, gang? Nah, uh, we just got back from shooting. I will send Jake some clips so that I can insert them here. Light jog, light jog, 
And uh, yeah, it was really fun. I didn't bring the camera because it was snowing, literal hellfire outside. And the drive back was unbearable, but uh, the roads are dog shit asshole. So we're not gonna go to the gym tonight, but we will be going to get food. And I will bring you guys for that because I'm so hungry because I have not eaten a single meal a day and I've been up since 5 a.m. And it is 5 p.m. Uh, California time. So 12 hours, no food challenge. Where's fasting? Fasting, literally fasting. Yeah, anyway, anything you have to say about that? I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I fucking ate my ball, bro. Oh, All right, listen, in the last travel vlog, the fucking footage got fucked up. Uh, so I didn't get to actually show Wait, you guys. actually? Yeah, bro, you had it in S and Q mode. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Homie gave me this his is the best, uh This is the best burger place I've ever been to in all of California and all of Texas and all of fucking Florida, all of Utah. Literally the best the burger place. Huh? You can just say the U.S., man. You know what? We uh, to Allen, I mean, uh, California, uh, Georgia, uh, all right. James Fifty. Fucking yeah. smart ass. <laughs> this is the best burger place that I've ever been to, so. On the Western Hemisphere. On the Western Hemisphere. All right, Dow. Got it down. Oh. Oh. Like this. Look at that shit. Wait, check this. <laughs> what? This shit looks so far, and I'm about to eat. Okay, so as promised, before that motherfucker finished eating. Oh, okay. Whoa. Who's that fucking. You're like I am. Uh, I'm always at like nine minutes so far. <laughs> All right, uh, and now we, and now we head, now we head out. Um, Drew has to get to the airport, which Ethan is curious. Cur wow, yeah. hold Spit on. it out. Yep. Come, Come on, on you got Holding it. Is courteous enough to uh, drive through the airport? Shocking. <laughs> uh, Wait, younger lay beat her in the wild. Yeah. Younger lay beat her in the wild. Room. We gonna squeeze a lot of fucking triggers. Yeah, me and all my, my guys and friends. And they're all my fucking guys. I fucking love that song. They're all my homies. And mm. we love to fucking hang out and do some pretty awesome stuff. Like this. True story. Oh damn, that was a really silent part. Don't go <laughs> <laughs> First stimming her. You guys saw it earlier. Hey, come give daddy a kiss. Say goodbye. Bro, that's not a thought. I'm out. Uh, he'll be back on uh, Friday? Friday. Yeah. So me and Baj gonna just chill in the uh, the apartment. Y'all gonna kiss? Maybe. Stop. Good morning. It's day two, and uh, I'm gonna be late for the bucket up thing because it's snowing outside hard, and traffic is bad. We're gonna get it going though. We are on the way. Locking the door would probably make sense. <gasps> Should I bring my second jacket? Like it's not that really, it's not really that cold outside. No, it's 18. It's 18? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm bringing my second jacket. Right. Ethan has come to pick us up. But dog, it's fucking cold out here. Oh. Woo! <laughs> I gotta make this quick, but new wear. New wear. New wear. And we're shooting a video photo shoot, and then a video shoot, and then a photo shoot. So check in with you guys when I get back. So this is this is the car that they're having me drive. Woo! Dude, dude, dude! Oh! I'm a lucky man. I'm a I'm a lucky man. I don't know. B-roll, behind the scenes, BTS. 
I'm Tommy's management. What's going on? He pays me $37.49 a day. A day, damn. Who's got a day rate? That's Somewhere around there, a couple pennies, a couple dimes. Here we go. Hey. See how he just locks that in like that? Yeah, that's what you get for the <laughs> Dude, they have me driving the sickest whip ever. Oh, yeah, Look at this right. thing. Okay. I already showed you guys, but it's, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> crazy. I'm a lucky man. <laughs> dude, this is sick. Look at the mountains. <laughs> you can kind of see them from here. Oh, hell, look at this beautiful BMW. Dude, I'm geeking. Today is, today is a great day. I got chicken and waffles waiting for me in the freaking car. Oh yeah, this shit's Dude, hard. Awesome. You got your dressing room over here. Dressing room, all right. <laughs> Next outfit. You ready for the dressing room? Yeah. The coat, dual purpose. No, no. Let's just, what's going on, Tommy? What up? <laughs> No! Oh. All of us just watching Tommy change. Hey, gotta make sure. This is a BTS. Oh. Bro's got a whole ass audience right now. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> you wanna do this? You wanna do the yeah, boat thing on the stairs? Yeah, let's so that they can learn. And so Tommy can get his chicken and waffle. And hey, what do you guys think? It looks fat though. Hey, it looks fat though. Bro, caked up right now. Sexy as fuck. Man's got no butt cheeks. What? Hey yo. Listen to this shit. Well, actually, Rub that a little bit more. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, son. That's crazy. That's wild. I'm like, thank you so much, Buck Dub. <laughs> I'll be having this delivered to my house. Like, no. I said, this is coming home. Nah, bro, but shout out, shout out Jeff, uh, co-owner of Buck Dub, though. This is his whip. Sick ass whip. M4. Damn. Dude, hope. This is like, the trash out with him and stuff. Nice. I definitely caught that in fucking 4K, my bad. Buck Dub was kind enough to get us lunch, so we're grubbing. <laughs> you have to stop. Tommy. Bro. I just, why is she saying? What about Tommy? With you, I am so happy. That's my boy band song. Yo, dude. Can't be great, can't straight. I'm Jenny, I can start with this kind of great because I'm heavy, but I'm big right now. Yo, this is comfy. Dude, come on! Gonna... Alright, wait, back to work, let's go. Full gym and no one's using it. This is why we're fat, America. Fuck you. <laughs> what is bro yapping about? Oh, I'm taking over the vlog. Here you go. I feel like, uh, I feel like a little kid wearing his dad's shirt. We're gonna say, fuck it, 2XL. Oh, At least it fits, like. It fits your shoulders. And chest. Yeah, that, that's good. Just when the TikTok so, like, well, very first started, the cut? now the everyone's like, five weeks. Well, then there five you weeks go. Skin boy again. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for not having a shirt on. So I want to utilize that. So I want him without a shirt. Yeah. Beat me like what Jesus. So will you help stage this shot, please? <laughs> I'm a, little, I'm a little husky right now. Okay, let's do it. Take it off! Take it off! Here you go. Here you go. Sweet. My pants got lint now, too. Go buy a beer. Let's get some beer call. Let's get some beer vapes. Let's go get some beer vapes and some weed call. A boss B word. <laughs> and we're not gonna say B word because we're it. not disrespectful. Say it. Boss Browards. <laughs> That's Thank boss, you. boss yeah. bucked up women. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do, bro doing a muscle up? Dude, I'm too heavy for this shit. 
Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yeah. We're out here in Salt Lake City. I'm with the this beautiful is, we're in ET Orem. deck. We're in Orem. Oh, yeah, we're in Orem. I'm with the beautiful ET deck. You know how Hey, no, 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 no. They're taking over my YouTube channel. Come on. Subscribe. Hey, thanks again. Both of my hoodies are bucked up, so. I'm gonna have to do like a dead sprint to the car. He's gonna cover a lot. Bless up, dude. Holy. He's got shorts on. I do have shorts on, and walking to the car is going to be a fun mission. That's not far. I just parked right really quick. Baj's first time at HQ. I'm at HQ. Sweeping. <laughs> Clear. We're done. So, I'm gonna pack up my merch. Get the ticket home. I went to the best two days ago. Give Baj a sloppy kiss. He got presents. It's Christmas. Yeah, I'm waiting for the kiss. It's getting you, Daddy. Waiting for the kiss. Okay. Alright, finally time to shoot. So, we go shoot. And then, uh,. Gym time. Here. We're all fucking tired. <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys didn't get taken along with for the shooting excursion, but that shit was sick. Except for my fucking toes are numb and sore are my fingers. How'd you like it, Bash? Come talk to the camera. I'm like bald right now. In the <laughs> wind. My hair doesn't work in temperatures and altitudes like this with no humidity, so I just look like a fucking princess Diana. <laughs> How you feeling, dog? I'm feeling great. I need to drop off some film, so I'm in a hurry. But it was a good shoot. He needs to drop Super off some nice. videotapes. Needs to drop off some videotapes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to return some videotapes. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go film and then uh, go to the gym. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, for today's pre, we got woke AF. I don't know if you can fucking see it with the light, mm -hmm. but yeah, we getting into it. A little There's chest no day. You gonna have to dry scoop, dog. Bosh forgot his heel homage. Bro, I fucking brought that shit. Bro, yeah, dude, don't bro me right now, dude. I'm gonna fucking start freaking the fuck out on you, like I'm gonna fucking freaking kill you, dude. Don't be. <laughs> Don't be making me freak the fuck out right now. Where the fuck is my fucking Come on. demise? Dude. <sighs> Anyways, it's chest day. So you let's get it going. Don't fucking forget it. I filled it up with water too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you left it on the desk. I was like, bro, don't forget that no, shit. No, I didn't leave it on the desk. I grabbed it from the desk, filled it up with more water, and then fucking left it. <laughs> <laughs> Sad story. Alright, let's get in there. Bro, so dead. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, shout out the refinery and bro, what's his name, John? Yeah. Shout out John, bro. Let's get into it. <sighs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, whatever he said. I need water. How do I fucking. How? How? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot you were filming. <laughs> I was getting sturdy, bro. Alright, what are you hitting? Chest. So, first we're gonna start with incline. Dumbbell. I never do dumbbell, but I don't know how to set the Smith machines in this gym. I don't wanna be a pain in the ass, so. Um, after that, we're gonna do some pec deck or flat press. One of the two. And then we're gonna do the other of the two. And then we're gonna do decline flies. Finish out with some dips. Let's get to it.
Dude, I haven't been able to reach failure like that in a long time. Holy shit, dude. What's up, gang? How we doing, bro? That was sick. You guys can't fucking see me right now, but that lift was fire, dude. As long as it so, oh, you can see me. Let there be light. That was so fire, dude. I had 18 Hostess donuts before that lift, and uh, definitely showed in the pump, bro. Pump was pump was, pump was gnarly, dude. And now we're gotta go get that one greens place from last time I was here. Crispin Green. Crispin Green. And then uh, possibly go to the Jazz game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take y'all with me. I love you, gang. <laughs> Man, they've been drunk. This was that one spot that I that I came to the first time when the video got fucked up, but Damn. shit's fire. You look at me like a white piece of face. All right, so basically we got kicked out of the uh, Utah Jazz game because Bosch busted a down sexual style in the middle of court. Basically, this girl just walked by that didn't even look real, and then I was like, okay, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> No, we just didn't go because the tickets were $110 a piece. Wait, ready? This is Utah Jazz. <laughs> I mean, shit, bro. You can park right next to the damn arena. That's how their season's going. <laughs> shit, dude. But yeah, I think we're just gonna chill. But if we end up figuring something out, I'll let you guys know. Hey, Jojo. Go inside. <laughs> Now, come on, Jojo. Go inside now. All right, it's day four, and uh, we are headed to the gym. And from the gym, I'm heading home because my flight is at like three o'clock. It's about noon right now, so. Yeah, we're gonna get a little pump in. Wait, what are we hitting today, guys? Uh, we got a little bit of legs, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of biceps. But okay. Yep. So let's get to it. Oh. From Tic Tac Shop. Tic Tac Shop. Using code Bajan. You can't use it on Tic Tac Shop, but you can buy it through my link. Uh, you just got link plug, buddy. Or you can get yourself some bucked up. Sure. You can get this bucked up, buddy. What's up, boss? Hey. 
Don't so, uh, no damn no goddamn motherfucking bucked up, motherfucker, you fucking asshole ass bitch, you fucking dumb ass motherfucker. That's all shit, There's good people that work at bucked up, some beautiful ass women that work at bucked up. Let me tell you something to think or two. And with that, let's get inside. <laughs> What's up, gang? How we doing? Yes, hey. Sir. Introduce yourselves. Basically, Tell your I story. That was about it. That's all I've done in my life. <laughs> that dude's pretty cool. Uh, what's up, gang? Tommy. You guys know me a lot, or a lot of you do know me. But, uh, yeah. I used to be a skinny kid, bulked up real heavy in college, started posting fitness content, and now this is what I do for a living. OCB Pro. Come on, son. Yeah, you... Well, how long ago did you compete? I competed in August of 2023, so yeah, six months ago. Yeah, I was like a couple weeks out when you were competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, we were going. Like, I remember going through prep at the same time, and I DM'd you once or twice, asked yeah, you something yeah. like or about your prep. Yeah, natty preps ain't easy at all. Prep, bro, if you decide to hop on a bodybuilding stage, you have to actually put yourself through hell. If you're not suffering. Then you're not you're not doing it right. You're not gonna look good compared to your other competitors. You gotta suffer for that shit. Yeah, and if you're just like trying to be on some David Goggins shit and you want a challenge, I probably wouldn't compete in a bodybuilding show unless you actually like it. Nah, bro, do 75 hard. <laughs> do 75 to. hard. If you want some do David Goggins shit, do 75 hard. Do not do a bodybuilding prep. Because it's like you. Yeah, it's, it's I, I only started saying. feeling normal again about a month and a half ago, two months ago, after competing for that long. Like I had to get my diet back on track after the show, which I refused to do because I was just like, fuck it, I'm not anymore i'm gonna eat so yeah. much food and then uh, i finally got back on track with my meals and then i i started really feeling like good again like like about two months ago maybe. yeah on well, like the the fucking human animal and he wants to fucking literally have poke. sex with food because it's been so malnourished for so fucking long dude what was You're your, like, what was your was first post show meal well for the first show uh, the first one yeah we merged some donuts just some oh. whatever local shop i was like i need to put donuts you need donut in my now. fucking mouth yeah like now the other one was steak it was steakhouse right is that yeah, funny we yeah. Yeah. sweet ass steak at roots chris um, no. been there. oh yeah we treated ourselves treated the homies okay we had a nice ass dinner i wanted a good ass steak because i didn't have the energy frankly to whip up a nice ass steak i was like ground beef yeah garlic hell uh, i'm not doing all that after my show, the first place I went was McDonald's. Yeah, I went from my show. I went yeah, from my show to McDonald's. I wanted to fucking like, well, make chicken. The fuck? I, bro's getting his I, mean, I, I just remember more of his shit because Tommy, bro, he was like, "Dude, you want to come with us to McDonald's after?" And I'm like. Your first meal, and then not only that, but we went to Golden Corral after. Oh my god, bro. Oh, Dude, that was yeah. second meal post show, but technically counts as the first thing because it was within like a six hour span. Dude, like, bro, I Golden crushed Corral McDonald's, seven bro. plates at fucking Golden Corral. I had like steak and mashed potatoes, I had tacos, I had like ice cream, I had everything that I wanted as a craving. It wasn't, it wasn't that's that, that bad. Gut, that's that bio bio biohazard. Dude, I work out the next day. That was the craziest chest bump I've ever had in my life. Oh, yeah, all the sodium and nutrients and shit. Bro, yeah. I had to dig for Ironically, that shit. Ironically, that's what I was talking what about. I had the best chest bump of my life with wrecked and rage. But I'm like, hey, oh. I'm with Bucked Up now, though. So, Coach Eastball, Bucked Up. You <laughs> got the mic on his face, Mm, they call me Sam Soulage the way I got oh, the mic next to, to my forehead. <laughs> Sam Soulage. Jake, I'm going to show you a song. It's called uh, Questionable Morality by a Thousand Band Fawny. If this works on YouTube, like, like just make the song with it or make the video with it mm -hmm. for this part of the workout. And if it doesn't work, then fuck it, we'll use something else. Days. Yeah, these fucking assholes didn't do shit. And he was like, I, I got yeah. to 12,000 no steps. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no cardio. I was okay. like 25,000 I wasn't killing day. myself on cardio, but I was doing like 30 minutes of Stairmaster a day. I need to to hop on my shit, bro. <laughs> what, like running for a marathon? <laughs> 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 marathon like, training, dog. You we need 12 miler tonight. You can, like, you can hit zone two on him and like get your zone heart rate up. Yeah, zone two training. Right, hey, oh, what are we starting with? Um, legs. Some fun shit. Great question. Posterior. I really narrowed yeah. it down. Posterior. That was really. We're fucking three tone in the cameras right oh, now. Hey, hey, hey. We're like a whole fucking film crew in here. Hey, what you mean? What you mean? We're making movies in here, bro. We're making movies because it's a movie time. Movies. Damn, bro, that wide angle makes such a difference. I can get real close to y'all and get real sick. Okay, I made it really hot with my breath. My bad. <laughs> We're starting with hamstrings. Oops. You feeling ready for this? Hell no. Because I've like maintained 
flexibility on the on the bolt. Yeah, yeah it feels so sexy. Much like yeah, exercise because I'm actually yeah. able to like stretch all the way down. You can train it, dude. I did hot yoga one time. Oh shit! Yeah, no, I did hot yoga one time. That shit was awesome. Do that. In <laughs> he said, "Oh, shit, you just smell if you want swamp ass in a room." And you uh, it. Normally, they have like essential oils in there. So, oh, like, okay. Like I went and did hot yoga with this girl, and it was like it was like two in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I definitely had to shower after. Like that, that was I disgusting. Get, I was I as like, sweaty as if I was doing cardio. You get like bronchitis or some shit. <laughs> I did a cycling class with a girl. Yeah, whatever that get, shit is, and I literally, bro, I've like never sweat. No, I've never sweat so bad in front of somebody in my entire life. <laughs> it was so bad. She was like, "Oh my god, why is it so much?" becomes like, oh fuck, should I even do it? <laughs> should I even do a second set? So facts, bro. I wouldn't be able to do that in leg press. You're gonna do a set of leg press to failure? I not wanna go again. You're, uh -huh. you're, you'll get like two if you try it again. That's facts. I normally will get like between eight and eight and 10 on my first set. My yeah. second set is always like six yeah. or like four. Yeah. So bad. Oh yeah. Why are you moaning like that, huh? What you do? I had a lot of food last night. <laughs> Y'all smell good today. Good. Thank you. Still got hot sauce on them, bro. Still oh. oh my god. Now run me your shit. Let's go. Get all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the most vulnerable stage you're possible. Oh boy. Yeah, Pete. Yeah, look at it. You're looking at my butt. <laughs> Sorry? Do it again? Damn. Yum. That's just the type of shit that we do around here. BBL Bosch camp.
I close my eyes for the love my space Even the God still keep me safe You blow your eyes when I talk this way Me and my friends went separate ways Might add a little red and I found it for the flame America taught me how to behave So if you want it, it's yours to take Put it all on the line, no one's at stake Fall by that talk, ain't no debate Ran into my old team while I'm on a date Say what you want, I got good taste Good cheese, good then back to the base After I bust on the shit, get replaced My mama calling me, she know my ways Might pick up a gun to say Mine on a million different little things Like what the quick do I intro to persuade Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fine. Oh no, fine. <laughs> TikTok's amnesia now. I don't even know what the fuck that app is now. All right, That's time to fucking do some Snoop Dogg. Full time YouTuber, bro. Fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to do too, bro. I gotta get YouTube. I, I, I'm already, I'm already eight times a month on YouTube, but. <laughs> <laughs> Bi monthly. Mm. Expect the video in the next month. two months. Yeah, every other month. When I feel like it. It'll be there. Though. Bi monthly. It'll be there. It'll, it'll be there. take hey, a while, every but 60 it'll. 60 days, you will have a new video. Yeah, if that sweet contraction at the top, peak supination. I feel like with the easy bar, you can get in the right position and get a sick ass bicep work, or get sick ass bicep work in, but. That, that contraction you feel with the straight bar, opposed to easy bar, you're kind of hitting your brachialis more so than your actual biceps. You can feel it, go like this. Feel your bicep, twist it, and you can literally feel it shift off of your bicep. The more you turn this way, the arm curls good for your brachialis and shit, look. I close my eyes for the love of my space Couldn't leave and the guy still can't be safe You roll your eyes when I talk this way Me and my friends went separate ways My head a little red and I found it for the flame A man could taught me how to behave So you want to know what I Fuck yeah Fuck All right. yeah Turn off the div, gentlemen oh, Alright Good flexing with you Yeah, so good flexing right, so now let's get to the <laughs> real one workout, more, guys more, One more, <laughs> one more? One more flex. Sick back in. Holy shit, how are you doing right now? Hold on. Sadly, I got a dip. Say bye to the boys. Peace out, my boy. Peace out, boys. Peace out, boys. Peace out, boys. Yeah, bad, dude. We're gonna be in there next week. We'll fuck some shit up. Yeah. All right. It's airport time. Ethan is gracious enough to be driving me. Thank you, Ethan. Gotcha. And um, my flight got delayed, so. It's still an auto. McDonald's. It's still a manual. Uh, switch it to auto. Oh shit. There we go. But, yeah, Utah's been sick. I always love coming here. I always love the homies here. And uh, happy belated birthday to Baj. We didn't really get to celebrate with him because that jazz game wanted $110 for tickets. Headed to the airport. I'm gonna probably just eat and then chill at the airport until my gate is open, my flight landed uh, or whatever. And then I'm off. Kevin's gonna pick me up at the airport. Thank you so much, Kevin. And then I'm gonna hang out with TV and probably Shalif and Kev. So maybe you guys get to see the hometown homies if I don't cut the vlog short. So see you soon. And I'm out. Uh, where are you going? It's always good to hang in Utah. And uh, I can finally retire Ethan from camera duty. Ethan, thank you so much for your help, my boy. I got you. And. Uh, when I get to my gate, I'll check in with you guys. So, got stopped by TSA again. And this time I took the pre-workout out of my bag 
so that when they stopped with it, when I got stopped with it, they could just take it, scan it, whatever. And I didn't lose half of the bin to, to testing powder, so a win is a win. And I'm here an hour early. Made it. Turbulent ass flight. But Kev's outside picking me up, so I'll talk to you in a sec. Ooh. Man, does it feel nice to be back in California? It's not cold as shit, and uh, it's also not windy, which is nice. The weather's always beautiful here, man. I'm blessed. But, uh, I'm gonna call Kev, see where he's at, and uh, get back to the pad. I'm gonna eat something. I'm fucking starving. Thank you so much, Kevin. Absolutely. <laughs> We're back. Back in the LA, uh, yeah. I'm gonna head back to the crib, maybe get some food, and I'll let you guys know what we're up to tonight. You look lonely. I can fix that. Nah, I was fucking hungry, so we're going to Panda, getting some food, and then back to the crib. We'll see what's good. Oh, and that is that. Um, me and Kev are gonna go hang out with TB. Haven't seen that fool in a few days, so we're gonna go check it out. Ch check it out. We're gonna go hang out with him. Say what's up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching yet another travel vlog. These are always fun to film, and uh, I love taking you guys with me on my adventures, my endeavors. So I love you, gang. Love you guys so much. Y'all, my everything for real. Um, yeah to the YouTube fam. You guys are why I still make content. I say that every video. And uh, overall, just hoping that 2024 will be another big year. I'm really looking forward to prep five more weeks and then uh, the shreds will return, baby. But with that being said, there's a new Young LA drop coming up on the 16th, I believe. Yes, Tuesday, the 16th at 12 p.m. So, code T-Spot to support your boy as always. Go cop yourself some shit. I know I messed up really bad with the uh, with the uh, timing in the last video. But, uh, yeah, fun stuff coming with Bucked Up as well. So, have a blessed day, night, or evening wherever you're at, gang. Make sure you remember I love you. Make sure you remember God loves you individually, deeply, personally. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys on Friday. Peace out, gang.